It's quite an interesting phenomenon, but every time I mention Code Academy Pro, developers seem to get really turned. It also seems to bring the boys to the yard. So I figure four years later, let's do an update video on this Code Academy Pro thing. Is it worth your time and money? Let's check it out. Rupert's on the mic and he's gonna review Code Academy Pro. Here we are in the inner sanctum of Code Academy Pro. I gotta say, after being away for so long, Coming back to see this familiar layout, the beautiful UX UI, the organization, I love that they didn't change it. Now, normally, under normal circumstances, we all know how fast web technologies change, evolve, and upgrade. But sometimes if something isn't broken, just don't fix it. And one thing I've always said about this platform, the UX UI and the layout are so on point, even down to the colors and the font. They have not touched that. You'll see in just a minute what I'm talking about and why I kind of go gaga over it. I really think it's one of the strongest features of this platform. Let's be honest, there are thousands of resources for React. There are thousands of resources for JavaScript. It's these marginal differences that are actually kind of a big deal. The biggest changes have been, number one, the full stack curriculum, which is this, the full stack engineer career path has been revamped. How? Mostly with the interface. Now, Codecademy in general, not just the pro tier, but Codecademy in general has generally, generally been pretty good with their updates, keeping things fresh, making sure the material is up to date for the current year, the current cycle, the current rele major release, what have you. I have not come across a piece of majorly outdated material. And all that is to say, I think Code Academy can generally be relied upon to provide updated curriculum. Just quickly, if you're looking for a nuts and bolts overview of Code Academy Pro in general, like the features, the career paths and all that, check out the video on your screen. I'm going to tell you right now, it is two years old, but most of the stuff really hasn't changed all that much, surprisingly. Again, the updates here and there, but as far as the actual curriculum and the features and the learning paths, pretty much still the same. So I won't be redundant. Check that video out. Let's go back here into the full stack curriculum. So in times previous, this took people forever. It still takes people forever because it is so much material. But instead of focusing on the lessons, Codecademy Pro is focusing more on modules. And they also improved the progress tracker. Because what happened was you would go, let me just pop in here, improved styling with CSS. What happened was you would go through these and you would spend hours on this stuff, but your progress would be like, boop. And you'd be like, <laughs> I'm never going to get through this. Somebody take me out of my misery. This is horrible. It's a UX UI improvement reminding them, hey, you're doing all right. The other major upgrade they have added, not just to the full stack engineer path, but to many of these career paths are exams at the end of the sections. So let me pop in here and we can see what those look like. You do need to get a 70% or better to pass the exam. Honestly, it's just a test of your knowledge to make sure you're picking up what they're throwing at you. I'm actually um, having a severe case of my eyes glazing over and I can't read. So I'm gonna just throw this out there and see what happens. It looks like they've also added a few additional projects varying from biodiversity and national parks to receipts for lovely love seats. Now, a lot of these are not for web development necessarily. Um, they're more for data science and data visualization. But it might be kind of fun to repurpose these project ideas into a web app or something that suits your career path, even though it's not necessarily intended for that career path. If you're pursuing data science, it might be kind of fun to try one of these JavaScript projects like the Wine Festival schedule. Another thing I noticed too is that they have these AI generated hints if you're stuck. In times previous, there used to be forums, which, hey, I love a good forum. But now that AI is going to take over the world and control us all, we may as well embrace it and get friendly hints to see where we're going wrong with our code. This is an example of why I do love Code Academy Pro's UX UI. Very clean. I love the layout. You have your objective here. You have your IDE right in the middle. And then you have your output over here on the right. And all of these can be maximized, minimized, customized 
to your heart's content. You can also very conveniently fork this project. There's the Get Unstuck tab and some tools here for editor settings. The other thing Code Academy Pro has added since my last review are the professional certificates. Now I have to be honest, it kind of rubs me the wrong way. I'm sorry. Code Academy, I'm sorry. In previous times, Code Academy had certificates of completion. Pretty self-explanatory. The professional certification gets a little dicey because none of this stuff is certifiable. It's not really a credential and they're making it sound like it is. This is what the professional certification looks like. I don't think it's an improvement, I'm gonna be honest. I think a certificate of completion is more accurate and I think this professional certification, I think it's a little disingenuous. The other thing they added with the pro tier is career services using this thing called Handshake, which is a leading early career community. It looks kind of cool. And if any of you have tried this, I'm interested in knowing your experiences. I can't put a percentage on it, but the vast majority of stuff on Codecademy Pro is the same. And I think that's kind of a good thing. They got a good thing going on. The curriculum is solid. Yeah, there have been a few tweaks that I'm just like, eh, but the most important things are the same. I like that because I've always liked this platform. I've always thought it's been pretty solid. And if you can't afford or don't want to pay for the pro tier, they have a really robust free tier for web development and other areas of technology that you might find behooving. So last question you guys are probably curious about, how much does this mofo cost? Well, if you're doing the pro and you decide to do the annual, a little deceiving here. I'm not a real fan of this, but I'm totally nitpicking. Basically, it's 240 bucks. It gives you the year access. Access. If you just want to do the month to month and cancel whenever, it's $39.99 per month. They also sometimes do 50% off sales here and there. Um, look out for a code. I would Google Code Academy Pro promo code just to see. It never hurts. The plus is the middle tier. Obviously, didn't talk about this one today, but the basic tier, oh yeah, it's that sweet, sweet zero. All in all, I still think Code Academy Pro is legit. I like the platform. I like it. I like the stock. Uh, I think it has a lot of curriculum. The projects are great. Again, if you just want an overview, check out that video I popped up on the screen a few minutes back. Really robust curriculum, engaging. Love the layout, love the UX UI. For those of you taking Code Academy Pro, would love to hear your experiences in the comment section. Let us know. Good, bad, and ugly. Again, neutral doesn't matter. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. But again, all in all, I think Codecademy Pro is a solid pick. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.